Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see MRP in Scheduling Agreement. Material Requirement Planning in Scheduling Agreement in SAP MRP. Let's see the steps. So first I'm going to create a material with MRP configuration in MM01 transaction. Then I'm going to run MRP in MD0. Run Material Requirement Planning in MD02. Con now I'm going to convert planned order to purchase requisition in MD04. And then I'm going to create purchase requisition, convert purchase requisition to scheduling agreement in ME31 year. And then maintain dates in ME38 and two goods received in Vigo and I'm going to invoice in MIR. Now let's go to the system and let me create a material. Go to MM0. Okay, here I'm going to select manufacturing and my material type is raw material. This is my raw material, surplus enter. K034, K034, it's my material number. K034, it's my material number, plus enter. Okay, basic data one, purchasing, basic data two, MRP, and then I'm going to select accounting. Let's select accounting, plus enter. Go enter the plant HK01, storage location HK01. Presenter. Okay. Raw material ROH for JIT. Scheduling agreement is JIT. Just in time. Okay. Base unit of measure is each. Okay. Enter. Material group. Present. Enter. Enter. Okay. Here I'm going to enter MRP type as V1. Let me select V1. Manual. Pre-order point for external requisition. I'm going to buy it from outside. That is what it means. Okay, present. Pre-order point is 50. MRP controller is one who controls MRP. Triple zero. Present. Lot size is HB. Replenish to maximum stock level. HB is replenish to max maximum stock level. My maximum stock level is 100. Let me enter 100. Enter. Enter valuation class here. 3000 is my valuation class. Press enter. Save. So K034 is my material. Now I'm going to, second step is I'm going to run MRP. This is my second step. Run MRP. MD02. Go to MD02. I'm going to run MRP. Okay. My plant is HK01. You don't have to do anything here. Only press enter. Enter, press enter in the keyboard. Now see, MRP has been run for this material. K034 is my material. Now go to MD04 and let me check the planned order has been created. See here, planned order. This is my planned order. 3439836 is my planned order. Now I'm going to convert this to purchase requisition. Double click onto this line item, convert to purchase requisition. Let me convert to purchase requisition. You don't have to do anything here. Save it. Now refresh it. Refresh it. Now I have converted to purchase requisition to uh, planned order to purchase requisition. This is my purchase requisition number. Let me take a note of this purchase requisition. PR. PR. This is my PR number. Okay, now I'm going to convert this PR to scheduling agreement. Okay, in ME, this, this second step is also over. Now I'm going to convert third step also over, fourth step. I'm going to convert PR to scheduling agreement. In ME31L, let's go to ME31L. Okay, enter the vendor, my vendor. Okay. LP, agreement type is LP. Purchase organization is HK01. HK01. Purchasing group, let me select it from here. Okay. Now, reference to purchase requisition. Click on to this reference to purchase requisition. Enter my, I'm going to enter this purchase requisition here. Continue. Okay. Validity end date, 4th of March. Okay. Press enter. Okay, enter storage location, HK01, press enter. Now, select onto this line item, adapt plus details. Click onto this, adapt plus details. 
Okay. Now enter the net price here. Double zero, double one, double zero. Spend okay, price. Now save it. Save it. This is my scheduling agreement number. Let me take a note of this scheduling agreement number. Okay. Now day I'm going to this step, step is also over. Now I'm going to maintain dates in ME38. Let's go to ME38. Go to ME38. Come back. Go to ME38. Okay. Maintain scheduling agreement. Okay. Double link onto this line item. Enter the delivery date. Today's date. Because JIT is nothing but today's date. Only if you enter the today's date, you will be, you'll be able to do goods result. Okay. Now enter quantity. Save this one. Save this. Okay. Now let me do goods result and invoice. Am I zero? Enter this scheduling agreement number. Item OK. Post. OK. Now I have done this. And I finally, let me check the inventory. MMB. Whether it has come or not. K043 is my material. K043 is my material. OK. This is my material. OK. Let me check the inventory. Execute. See, 100 has come. Okay, now let me do the invoice. MIR. Let's do MIR. Select onto this V6 tax code. Enter the scheduling agreement number here. Present. Okay, calculate tax. So, baseline date. Go to basic data. This, this amount I have to enter it here. 1,26,500. Okay, now the balance is zero. Let me save this. So this is how we do MRP with scheduling again. Thank you.